आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड नाउ हेलो एवरी वन सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन क्वेश्चन ऑन लिमिट्स एंड डेरिवेटिव सो हेयर इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर गिवन दैट द एल एज अ लिमिट ऑफ दिस एक्सप्रेशन सो हेयर वी हैव द लिमिट एज एक्स टेन टू जीरो ऑफ इन द न्यूमिनेटर वी हैव द साइन ऑफ साइन एक्स माइनस साइन एक्स एंड इन द डिनोमिनेटर वी हैव द ए एक्स टू द पावर फाइव प्लस बी एक्स क्यू प्लस सी एंड दिस लिमिट इज गिवन टू एस एज इक्वल्स टू माइनस वन बाई ट्वेल्व नाउ इन सच अ केस वेन यू टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ ए सो For that we are given the four options, and we need to choose one among these four options. So, let us first note down the limit which is given to us in the question. So here we are given that the sine of the sine of x like this minus the sine of x whole divided by in the denominator we have a x to the power five plus b x cube plus c, and here we have the limit. As x tends to zero, so this limit is given to us in the question is minus one by twelve. Now here, if we evaluate this limit, then in the numerator we have the sine of x. So as x tends to zero, this sine of x would tend to zero. So here we have the sine of zero in the numerator. So here we have the sine of zero minus here we again have the sine of zero because as x tends to zero, this sine x would tend to zero. In the denominator, we have the a into zero. That is zero plus b into zero. That is zero plus c. So if we solve this, then in the numerator we get the zero minus zero. That is zero upon c. So if we solve this, then we get zero. But here we are given this limit as minus one by twelve in the question. So this cannot be zero. So in order to get this limit exist, this C should be equal to zero because if C is equal to zero, then here we get the zero upon zero kind of indeterminate form, and if we solve this, then it can only be equal to minus one by twelve. If and only if the C becomes equal to zero. So from this expression, we conclude that we finally conclude that the C would be equal to zero here. So here we get the value of C as zero. So now we put the C as zero in this expression. So if we put C as zero, then we get the limit x tends to zero. Here we have the sine of the sine of x. Minus the sine of x like this, and in the denominator we have the a x to the power five plus b x cube like this, and this limit is given to us in the question is minus one by twelve, and here we have put the value of c as equal to zero. Now for solving this limit further, we are going to use one identity of sine of a minus sine of b. So we know that the sine a minus sine b is given by the twice of sine. Here we have the a minus b by two into the cosine of a plus b by two like this. So now we are going to use this identity. So if we use this identity here in this, then we get the limit as x tends to zero. And here we apply this identity in this numerator. So here we have the a as sine x and the b as x. So it would be here we have the twice of the sine of In the angle, we have the sine x minus x all divided by two, like this. And here we also have the cosine term. So in the cos, we have the sine x plus x all divided by two, like this. And in the denominator, we have the a x to the power five plus b x cube. And this limit is given to us as minus one by twelve in the question. Now here we are given the limit as x tends to zero. So here, as x tends to zero, this sine x would tend to zero. Similarly, here we have the x as zero. So this complete thing tends to zero, and here we have the cosine of zero. So the cosine of zero is one. So here we have this value as tending to one. So now we are going to put the one in the place of this thing. So if we put that, then here we get here we have The limit as x tends to zero. Here we have the twice of the sine of. Here we have the sine x minus x whole divided by two like this. And here we have the division with the a x to the power five plus b x cube. So here in the denominator we have 
here the a x to the power 5 plus b x cube like this. Now in order to solve this limit we are going to multiply and divide by the sin x minus x whole divided by 2. So here we divide by the sin x minus x whole divided by 2 and since we have divided so we are also going to multiply with the same thing here. So if we multiply with the same thing then here we have the sin x minus x whole divided by 2 like this. So now we know that as x tends to 0 this sin x minus x would be equals to 0. So as x tends to 0 this entire angle would tend to 0 and here we also have the same thing in the denominator so this would also tend to 0 and here we have this angle inside this sign. So we know that the limit as theta tends to 0 the sine theta upon theta would tend to 1. So here we have this complete thing this entire thing would tend to 1 by using the sine limits. So if we solve this ahead then we get here we have the limit as x tends to 0 and here we can also say that this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled out with each other and we are left with here we have the sin x minus x in the numerator. So in the numerator we are only left with the sin x minus x like this and in the denominator we have this thing that is the a x to the power 5 plus b x cube like this. So now here we can see that again as x tends to 0 this numerator we have the sin 0 minus 0 that is 0. So the numerator tends to 0 and again we have the denominator as also tending to 0. So now for solving this limit we are going to apply the L orbital rule. So if we apply the L orbital rule then we are for that we are going to differentiate the numerator and denominator with respect to x. So if we apply the L orbital rule then here we get the limit as x tends to 0 in the numerator we differentiate sin x. So the differentiation of sin x is cos x and here we differentiate the x. So the differentiation of x is 1 and in the denominator if we differentiate then we get the 5a x to the power 4 plus 3b x square like this. Now again we know that as x tends to 0 this cos x would tend to 1. So here we have the 1 minus 1 in the numerator. So the numerator is 0 again. So as x tends to 0 the numerator tends to 0 and also we have our denominator as also tending to 0 because we have the x in the denominator. So for solving this now again we are going to use the L orbital rule because it is a 0 by 0 kind of indeterminate form and on applying that rule we get the limit as x tends to 0 and now we are going to redifferentiate this numerator. So if we redifferentiate this numerator then we get the differentiation of cos x as minus sin x like this and in the denominator we have the 5 4 is a 20 a x cube plus here we have the 3 to the 6 b x like this. Now again we can see that again it is forming the indeterminate form of 0 by 0. So again we apply the L orbital rule and if this time we apply the L orbital rule then we get the limit as x tends to 0 in the numerator we have the differentiation of sin x as cos x. So here we get the minus cos x like this and in the denominator we have the 20 into 3 that is 60. So here we have the 60 a x square plus here we have the 6 b like this. Now if we see the question then in the question we were given this limit as equals to minus 1 by 12. So here we have the limit as minus 1 by 12. So now if we find this limit then here we have as x tends to 0 this cos x would tend to 1. So here we have this cos x is tending to 1 and as x tends to 0 this entire term would tend to 0 here. So if we solve this further then we get here in the numerator we have the minus 1 and in the denominator we have the 6b like this and this would be equal to the minus 1 by 12. So this minus and minus gets cancelled out and this 6 and this 12 gets also cancelled out and if we solve this then we finally get the value of b as equals to 2. So here we have got the value of b as equals to 2 and in the starting we got the value of the c as 0. Now we need to predict the value of a. So now from this expression which we have got here from this expression we can clearly see that if the b becomes equals to 2 and if the c becomes equals to 0 then for any real value of a 
this limit would always exist and would always come out to be minus 1 by 12. So, if b is equals to 2 and the c is equals to 0, then for that the limit to exist, we have the a as belonging to the set of real numbers. So, the a belongs to the set of real numbers. Now, let us check that which option is the correct option. So, here in the question they have asked us to comment upon the value of a. So, here we have got that the a belongs to the set of real numbers. So, the option 1 is the correct option. This is our solution. Thank you. Class 6 to 12 से लेके NEET IIT JE mains और advanced के level तक 10 million से ज़्यादा students का भरोसा। आज ही download करें doubt net आप या WhatsApp कीजिए अपने doubts 8400-400-400 पर।